If SAS Power decides to go ahead with nuclear power, it would build small modular reactors at one of two possible locations in the province. The first candidate is Esteban, including areas around Boundary and Rafferty Dams. The Esteban area has been a very important part of SAS Power's history. Through the Boundary Dam and Chan Power Stations producing stable, reliable baseload power for decades, to the hundreds of employees that call Esteban home, and by identifying the Estevan study region, the opportunity to continue this history is exciting. The other possible location is around Elbow, near Lake Diefenbaker. Saspara has evaluated nuclear power for a long time. And throughout all of these studies, Lake Diefenbaker has always been at the top of the list as one of the most technically suitable locations potentially to host a nuclear facility. The two areas had to meet the following criteria. They had to be close to water, have existing power transmission, and the ability to support a workforce. SAS Power says it must also engage with local leadership and the public. The final decision on a potential location is expected next year, but SAS Power says it won't decide on whether to use nuclear power until 2029. If it goes ahead, a reactor would be operational by 2035. This will come at a time when coal power has to be phased out. Saskatchewan relies on coal for a quarter of its power generation. The minister responsible says the lights and furnace will stay on. We are going to make a commitment to the people of this province. We will supply reliable baseload power no matter what we have to do. The opposition says it will be watching to make sure the government and SAS Power are open and transparent. This is a, a, a huge project, as we've talked about, as well as potentially a huge uh, economic boom for communities. And there is significant public consultation that needs to be done. And as this moves forward, uh, wanting to make sure that we're picking the best sites uh, for this project and any projects in Saskatchewan and not just picking winners and losers. SAS Power has estimated the cost for one reactor to be $5 billion. It will choose only one of the two sites and could build two SMRs there. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.